All right, everybody, a new discovery. For the first time, I'm catching the banana cabbage coming out of the center, as I have said before. It just, uh, if you can see by the shape, it does have a leaf on top, small leaf, but right, right here, it looks like a ear of corn. It has that shape. Wow, first time I caught it. Let's see how long it takes for this to pop out. All right, cool, just wanted to share that. All right, guys, I found a banana cabbage. I'm gonna cut just a moment. Climbing through the banana jungle right up there. And you might notice around it is a lot of dead shrub some of the bananas that didn't develop so we're going to go ahead and cut this off and let the rest of those finish and it should be ready soon <clears throat> just like that with the crescent knife and a little slice comes right off so we'll show you how this can be cut up and uh, you can uh, prepare this and eat it. For those of you who are unfamiliar, it has a lot of benefits into this. All right, so we'll show you that in just a moment. Okay, everyone, we're now inside and you get a good look up close now. So when this banana cabbage is growing, here are the bananas, what they look like when they first uh, are flowers, or what look like flowers. Um, these did not develop, but there you go. Very delicate uh, pieces of, uh, of the banana, but there is the inside. <clears throat> so, these didn't make it. They didn't survive or just weren't strong enough. Anyway, we're going to cut the remainder of this uh, stem, uh, the stock. Uh, we need to get these extra pieces out of here. So basically, we're just going to make a cut right at the top. Very easy to do. Okay. And uh, push that to the side. And so... In cutting this right down the middle right okay you're just gonna split it open and like I said I call this <coughs> banana cabbage and uh, because of the texture that's what it feels like that's what it sounds like and as you can see when I get this open it's actually easier to cut I'm trying to be friendly to the camera that's what you get on the inside all right and this can be cut up uh, and put into a soup you probably can do it any way you want just like a just like cabbage uh, but a lot of people will eat it raw along with other other things like what would you eat this with pad thai oh yeah okay when you go to a restaurant and uh, order pad thai 
they will uh, have this on a plate to the side and you just crunch along crunch it <laughs> as you eat okay so this size right here as you can see is about the size of my hand a little bit longer there at the tip and they do get bigger much bigger which means you're gonna get a lot more bananas I went ahead and cut this because these are these didn't make it okay all right that's gonna do it so uh, you can check the internet for recipes and how to prepare it you can boil it you probably want to wash it uh, it's a bit starchy okay um, and uh, chop it up season it up put in your salad soup or eat with your pot thai all right that's gonna do it for this one take care sawadee cop